The purpose of this video is to show you how to set up Edit Plus to reduce some of the mistakes that you may make. Um, so when you open up Edit Plus, if you don't know how to start posting in the HTML, when you click on File, you'll see Open and you want to open up an HTML page. And then you're going to see this bar come up with all of the different things that you can do to the text. Uh, if you don't see this, uh, if you go under View here in the toolbars, make sure that the tool HTML toolbar is checked and then you'll be here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to actually remove the buttons that we're not using with the It's Good Business model. So if you go, if you click on Tools here and then click on Preferences, go down to the bottom here in the Tools for the toolbar and pull this down and you'll see where it says HTML. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take out the separator because I'm not going to use it here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight it and I'm going to select this left arrow right here and it's going to throw it away and then I'm going to click on italics um, underline, I don't want underline, I don't want font, color, separator, not breaking space uh, I do want the break, the paragraph however I don't want the heading or the separator or the image I am going to use anchor uh, I'll leave horizontal rule in there I'm going to take out comment any special everything else, we're not using objects, uh, formats, listings uh, objects, just take them all out. So this is all you'll have left, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then click apply, and then hit OK. So what I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to grab some uh, content. Uh, you'll see that right up here now there's only those buttons that we use uh, in using its good business.net model. So I'm going to grab some content real quick. and what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste it in here so I took it off of Word and uh, I just came into the screen here and to minimize the results uh, the mistakes that some might have by adding the meta and the head tags and all that stuff uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit control A and it's going to highlight everything and then I'm going to um, hit control V which is going to paste it in there now I don't have any of that stuff um, so what I can do here is if it's not already separated uh, you can uh, go in there and hit enters in there in order to separate it a little bit and then simply do stuff uh, if you want you can uh, add a, a paragraph tag uh, add a paragraph tag to the beginning uh, maybe highlight uh, bold some of your keywords you would just select it and hit bold um, down at the bottom, well, I want to still put a paragraph tag here and a paragraph tag here. And then um, right at the end here, I'm going to hit some break spaces right here to throw it down on the line. And then I'm going to hyperlink this one right here for good business or it's good business, however you want to put it. And uh, click on the anchor. And then right here in the href tag, I'm going to type in there HTTP it's good business dot net and then by clicking uh, right here you'll be able to see what it's going to look like in your post and you might want to spread it out some more or whatever but if that's good um, it's got a clickable link there everything else looks good what you would do is, just, is click on the pencil here and let it go back to the HTML mode and copy this out right here and uh, copy it and paste it. Control C or copy and then go to your RSS feed and paste it. Uh, that's the end of this video. I uh, hope that um, removing some of these buttons uh, may help you out.